Hey there, I'm Joe Dickerson with the Joe Dickerson Group at Keller Williams Realty in Oakland, California. We have a passion for helping people build wealth through real estate, and one of our favorite ways to do that is through a strategy called house hacking. While my wife and I have done numerous house hacks over the years, I'm the first to admit it's not for everyone. So in this video, we'll help you determine whether house hacking is right for you. We'll look at things that you should consider before house hacking, the pros and cons of house hacking, and at least one scary story from my experience as a landlord. But first, in case you don't know, house hacking is when you buy a small multi-unit property like a duplex and live in one unit and rent the others out. So our clients are usually house hacking in an effort to lower their overall monthly expenses while simultaneously creating wealth. Sounds great, right? But before you jump in, let's cover some of the positives, negatives, and a handful of items that should absolutely be considered. First, the good. When you house hack, you can save money uh, on your monthly housing expenses and a good chunk of money while also owning a property in one of the hottest real estate markets in the country. In one of our personal house hacks in Oakland, we had expenses of about $3,600 a month while bringing in $2,100 a month in rents. That allowed us to live in our three bed, one and a half bath appreciating asset for just $1,500 a month. That's $1,500 when we would have been paying over $3,500 uh, for a comparable single family home. But now for some of the bad. My wife and I uh, were once traveling, this was several years ago, visiting my parents out in North Carolina. I was out playing golf with my dad, that's my one round per year, uh, when I got a call from my tenant telling me her unit, which was in the basement of our home, had flooded. So now, while 2,400 miles away, trying to enjoy my one game of golf a year, I had to figure out how to dry, remediate, and repair the basement and her home. So in addition to these unexpected expenses and repairs that will inevitably happen, we also have changing governmental oversights to be aware of. Oakland and many cities in the East Bay and now the entire state of California have enacted uh, various tenant protections which may limit your rights as a landlord. The most notable of these are rent control and just cause eviction laws or ordinances. So rent control uh, limits your ability to raise rents past certain thresholds each year, even if the current rent is well below market. In Oakland, for example, rents can't be raised by more than about 3% with just uh, per year, with just a few exceptions. That means if the current rent were $1,000, the rent can only go up by $30 in a given year. The second, uh, just cause eviction ordinances and laws protect tenants from being asked to leave without an allowable reason. And these reasons are generally limited to tenants breaking the lease by non-payment, illegal activity, uh, etc. Uh, what is not an allowable reason is simply wanting them out or wanting to bring in a higher rent. So while house hackers used to be exempt from these types of laws, that is no longer the case in Oakland. However, if a tenant occupies a unit that you or a family member uh, wants to live in, you're typically allowed to go through with that eviction, uh, though you will be required to pay uh, the tenant relocation fees, uh, potentially of several thousand dollars. So before house hacking, you should also consider what it's like day to day to share your space with tenants. Many house hackers work to establish ground rules uh, around common spaces like the backyard and quiet hours and policies about things like taking trash cans to the curb, for example. And given that you'll be sharing space, it's also worth spending a moment talking about how to find great tenants. Uh, so some house hackers end up inheriting tenants from the previous owner though many are able to go out and find their own. And there are dozens and dozens of websites to advertise your rental unit on. I tend to keep it simple uh, and stick with the Zillow group, that's Zillow, Trulia, and Hotpads, uh, as well as listing on Craigslist. 
I use those same sites to determine what monthly rent I should be asking for by looking at similar units uh, currently available on those sites that are nearby my unit. Um, in our current housing shortage, a properly priced and marketed listing with good pictures should see multiple inquiries within the first few days. Uh, and to save on time, I try to schedule as many appointments as possible in just one afternoon uh, to allow prospective tenants to view the unit. Uh, so from the, un the tenants that come through and are interested, you'll be able to select the most qualified uh, candidates. To determine qualifications, I run uh, credit checks, background checks, and eviction histories through SmartMove. That's a service through TransUnion. I check references to make sure there aren't any red flags uh, or concerns about sharing a home with prospective tenants. Uh, so to respect anti-discrimination laws, and more importantly, be a good human, carefully consider the grounds for which you reject any applicants. Uh, also note that in California, you cannot reject applicants because, just because they intend to use Section 8 housing vouchers. So once you find a tenant that meets all your criteria, it's time to sign a lease. Uh, I often get asked where to find a good lease because there are so many bad leases out there. Uh, a lease is a legal document, so which lease to use and what terms are included are great questions for your lawyer. However, if you're looking for a good place to start, check out the East Bay Rental Housing Association and the standard lease that they provide their members. If you're outside the East Bay, there may be a local housing association that you can join. So after hearing about some of our experiences uh, and getting a high level overview of what's required to house hack, do you think house hacking is right for you? Uh, let us know in the comments below. And if you're looking for real world tools on how to get started house hacking, come check out one of our live upcoming house hacking classes. We hold those in both San Francisco and Oakland for your convenience. And there we'll walk you through multiple examples, uh, we'll answer your questions, and we'll even provide you some free snacks and goodies. Uh, you can find a link to sign up for our next class in the description below. And finally, if you liked this video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. I'm Joe Dickerson with the Joe Dickerson Group at Keller Williams Realty. Thank you so much for watching.